Hello, Stevies. Miss Stevie here. Guess what? We got a package in the mail. And I'm kind of excited to see what it is, even though I know it's not for me. You ready? Broken nail there. <gasps> Look at this! Guys, Stevie got a new seat. stand for lucky daves it's nice so this is the get lucky bagger seat they have a bagger seat and they have the get lucky bagger seat and you got the lucky i got the get lucky bagger oh seat. the get lucky bagger seat has a bigger passenger seat oh so you can get lucky <laughs> <laughs> i think i mean need to get one of these too then <laughs> well it's pretty well why don't you flip it over See the this the this is riveted in instead of just stapled like a Harley seat, which I'll show you here real quick. So this is a Harley stock seat for a road uh -huh. king, and look, stapled. Look at that, it's just stapled. But look at this, carpeted oh. to protect your paint. The front of this is just plastic, and if you look on this like one, this right? Look at that. This is not only riveted in, but it goes into foam instead of just an open oh, wow. area. Wow. It has rubber stops. So I have not had a backrest for a long time, but. I used to be the backrest, guys. Or a, a back seat <laughs> for a long time, I guess. But uh, you know what I think we're gonna do is I think we're going to have you install it. Oh. <laughs> goodness well, it's gonna be hard as a rock yeah it's it's, it's hard <laughs> i think it's comfortable i like how it goes in the back there i like it you want to try your seat out here we go this is the first ride with the lucky dave's get lucky seat Today is the first ride with the Lucky Dave's Get Lucky Seat. One thing I can tell you already is that it does sit me up a lot, which I was not wanting. And it pushes me forward a little bit more, but my handlebars feel more comfortable. And the back support that this thing has got is kind of unreal. So. Um, right now it's hard as a rock, but they say it takes a while for it to break in. It's supposed to be pretty windy tomorrow, so that will be a good test on if it, the seat holds me on the bike better than the old one did. It feels like it does already, which is, you know, the reason why I bought it. So, I will probably continue this video tomorrow also. difference. I like it. 
pocket for that already. I like the way my other one, you know, set me down and back, but this seat came highly recommended by lots of folks. It's not the cheapest seat in the world, um, but it was the one that was the most highly recommended. But look at this speedometer, huh? The blue and the red. I love it. I love it. It's awesome. But yeah, I dig this seat so far. So it's got gel inserts, which you guys just heard, on the rider seat and the passenger seat. It was a little bit more money, but the the bagger seat from Lucky Dave's, which I believe are made by Saddleman, don't quote me on that, it's a little bit more narrow, and so is the passenger seat, is also a little bit more narrow. And I thought, you know what, with Miss Stevie maybe riding with me sometimes, who knows, the, the kid goes with me, but we might need a bike that's capable of riding two up, right? So I didn't, I didn't mind that so much. I love the look of the seat, I really do. It looks like the Saddleman step up seat, which that's the look that everybody's going for, right? So, but yeah, I, do, I like the seat. I had to adjust my mirrors, obviously, because it sits me up higher. But other than that, I, I like it. I like it so far. I got the, the tuck and roll because they say that that's a little bit softer if you get the, the cross stitching, which looks way cool. They say is is tougher, it's harder, it's not as soft because of all the stitching. But I'm like, you know what, it's gonna be under my butt. So I'll go the more comfortable route. And I think the tuck and roll, it still looks cool. I didn't custom order it, so I didn't get the stitching on the back or anything like that. I just I got one that uh, they had in stock. Now it does not move me up as high and push me as far forward as my hammock seat or the stock Road King seat or the stock touring seat that I've got for this bike. Man, I've got a lot of seats for this bike. Should sell some of them. Oh man, that makes a huge difference. I can hold myself up way easier now. I'm not sliding off the back of the bike. Oh man, yeah. Oh yeah, that makes a huge difference. Not, a, not that I'm speeding, but with the suspension setting it the way that I have it set, which is, you know, now the correct way. Not according to the Harley book, but according to everybody else. I have the I have the suspension turned down to zero and that makes a huge difference and this seat makes a huge difference. I'm using my body to hold on instead of my body sliding off. Definitely can't wait till I get it broke in though. I had my other seat broke in but I've got 13,000 miles on my other seat so you know she good and broke in. Let's see how many miles I can get on this one before I really start noticing a difference and it feeling better. Of course, like I said, by, by this, it's it's such a night and day difference because on my other seat, I'm holding myself on so much. With this seat, I don't have to do that. It's just it's just such a complete, complete difference. And it it looks really cool on here too. I mean which is crazy because before I, I started watching YouTube, I never even considered another seat than a Harley seat. That's because, you know, that's what my local Harley shop had was Harley seats. So it's like, okay, you go in and you're like, hey, I want a different seat for my bike. And they open up the book and they're like, all right, which Harley seat do you want? You know, I never, I never considered looking, branching out. But now being in the YouTube community and talking to people about different things and watching videos on different seats and realizing that there's there's so much better out there but like I said I'm just gonna have to get used to being up higher and being just a little bit more forward I'm just gonna have to get used to it I'm gonna be a broken record now but the comfort that I feel from not having to hold myself on with my arms anymore is is huge i can just relax my arms now and instead of when it's windy out just holding myself on constantly this is 
making a huge difference. So tomorrow, Miss Stevie and I plan on riding a lot more. It's going to be windy though. I mean, we're talking 20 to 30 mile an hour winds. I have to test that out tomorrow. Wow, it's windy. Yes, it is. Goodness sakes, we can't have just a nice day with no wind. This is crazy because the wind doesn't even bug me. Why? The seat just sets me in. I don't feel like I'm fighting the wind to stay on the bike or anything. Oh. This is awesome. Good. But it's a good day. Yeah, so Miss Stevie is with me now. Yesterday I went on a little ride with, uh, with this new seat just to try it out. But today I think we're gonna actually put on some miles. So we're just rolling the videos together. So no introduction needed. <laughs> I was wondering. But you guys can really tell, I think anyway, especially now how much higher this sits me up on my seat. Might need to get some taller handlebars. Make me look cool still. Yeah, I, I dig this seat though. So hopefully I've got maybe 20 miles on it. They say it takes 300 to break it in. Goodness sakes. Huh. So windy. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't bug me at all now. It's weird. I should let you ride it because it's insane. Maybe you'll want one for your bike. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm gonna want to. <laughs> <laughs> so now hopefully you guys can see a lot more. I didn't realize that I still had the GoPro set on POV. Now I got it on the on the bike settings. Now we're at the wide angle. I will say though that sitting up like I am, I feel yeah. like I have more control of the bike for some reason. And I put the new Ciro metal ball clamp on my bars. And oh. my phone won't move at all now. Jump. <laughs> I'm down here too. Mm-hmm. I'm a child. Yes. I know this. I said nothing. Ah, so bright. <laughs> Getting blown over. So one other thing that this seat has is it has the grip material on it so you don't slide off which is weird to get used to because you can't just slide in the seat anywhere. You stay put. You can try to slide, but your jeans don't move, and that's a bad combination <laughs> and stuff. But uh, we're up here on top of a parking garage to take some pictures, but I'll do a more in-depth review on the Lucky Dave's Get Lucky seat at a later time. I don't, I don't know, I guess it's a comfortable seat so far, but until I get some more miles on it, um, I'll let you know if I recommend it or not. So, everybody stay cool. We'll see you on the road. I'm going to bump into you into a burnout.